Asus just messed up the ROG Ally with the latest BIOS 319. If you have updated to this new version, that means your Ally gaming performance decreased up to 20%. In this video, I will show how to downgrade the BIOS to the previous version 317. Also, I will demonstrate how to disable the auto BIOS update. So to perform this downgrade, we need a USB flash drive add a USB hub, or we can use the Steam Deck dock to replace the USB hub. The Ally requires to have power supply add a USB stick plug-in during the BIOS downgrade, so that's why we need a USB hub here. I will use the Steam Deck dock in this video. First, I want to check the BIOS version. If you are still at 317, then you don't need to downgrade the BIOS. All you need to do is disable the auto update. So to check the BIOS version, go to Windows Device Manager. Then select the firmware. Under System Firmware, select Property. Then go to Firmware tab. After Firmware version, if you have 3.19, then a downgrade process will increase your Ally performance up to 20%. But if you are still at 3.17, then you can just disable the update from here. But just remember, once ASUS release a better BIOS, you need to come back here and enable the update, so you can always get the latest BIOS from ASUS in the future. Ok, now let's downgrade the BIOS from 319 to 317. First, we need to go to ASUS website and make sure you select the BIOS and the firmware tab. Then select the modem number, there is only one here. From this page, download the BIOS for ASUS Easy Flash Utility. And just make sure you download the 317 version. Double check the file number with my and make sure it's correct. Now we can open the download folder. And we need to extract this zip file first. All we need is the extracted file. Next, we can plug in the USB stick and the formatted USB to FAT32 format. So make sure you pick FAT32 here. Then click Start to formatting your USB flash drive. Then we can copy the BIOS file that we just downloaded into the USB flash drive. Make sure you only copy the extracted file, not the folder. Now we can shut down the ally. Make sure it's turned off completely, then press down the power button. Once you feel the vibration, then hold down the volume minus button until you boot into the BIOS. Then we can press the Y button, go to the advanced mode. Then press right on the cross button and move to the advanced tab. Next, go to ASUS Easy Flash 3 utility. On this page, make sure you select the correct storage. My USB stick is 8GB, so I know it's storage FS1. Then press button A, you will see this RC171LAS.317 file here. Make sure you have this file, and then we can press button A. You will get this confirmation page, and press A to process. Then the device will reboot, and start downgrading the BIOS. On this page, you can press button A to skip the 60 seconds waiting time. Or you can just leave it there. The system will automatically start downgrading after 16 seconds if you don't take any action on this page. Now the BIOS downgrading process is taking in action. This will take about 5 to 6 minutes to finish. So just don't touch anything and leave the device there. It will automatically boot into Windows after it's done. Now we can log in the Windows, then go to Device Manager. Under Firmware, 
you will see the firmware is back to 317. At this point, we have successfully downgraded the BIOS. Once you downgrade to 317, every time after you power on Ally, you will get this BIOS update notification. Make sure you click No on this page, otherwise your BIOS will be updated to 319 again. Another way to avoid this BIOS update is go to Device Manager and select the firmware, then disable the device. By doing this, you will not get the BIOS update notification after you power on the Ally. But just remember, once ASUS release a better BIOS, you need to come back here and enable the update, so you can always get the latest BIOS from ASUS in the future. Now if I reboot my Ally, the BIOS update reminder page will not show up again. The system will boot into Windows directly. That's all for this video.